she's a very special person and I just, I will do anything to get her home, yeah. anything. First at noon, the mom of a missing woman begs for help. She spoke at a news conference this morning on day three of the growing search for her daughter. Thank you for joining us. I'm Maggie Vespa. Allison Watterson was last seen Sunday. Her boyfriend told authorities they've been hiking near Old Pumpkin Ridge Road and basically got separated. Authorities started the intensive search on Tuesday and they have been blunt about the struggles here. This is a view of the search area from Sky 8. It's basically a patchwork of wooded private properties, meaning they say it's tough to see through the trees and crews need permission from each individual property owner before going onto their land. Today, they're using drones and they've called in a National Guard helicopter. After authorities spoke at that news conference this morning, Allison's parents addressed the media. We really appreciate all the, the support that we're getting from the community and from all the other resources. And we just really, really want to thank everyone and we want this to keep going until we find Allison. Please get the word out too. Anybody who you may, may not be on social media or news in this area to please check their property for maybe somebody sleep, you know, find, they, can, they can find a place to get warm or just please check your property. All right, so we mentioned Allison's boyfriend. There he is. His name is Benjamin Garland, and he's not part of the search party today because he's been arrested on outstanding warrants. Deputies say those warrants are not connected to this case. They also said today he has been helpful as far as providing info for this search. And we have that full press conference from this morning up on our website right now. Just go to KGW.com to watch it. Lindsay Nadrich is following the search, and she'll have more coverage coming up on the news at 4.